One of the most rewarding processes that we can be involved in is to be more transparent of ourselves. And that is something that I guess in today's society we're taught not to do. We are actually taught in, in small ways to close down and to remain isolated and secretive. But it's not the way. In doing counseling over the years, that was my main focus with couples or between two people, is to get them to open up and honestly share their feelings. And this is the kind of life I'm asking you to look at today. If you're annoyed, if you're angry, if you're impatient or depressed, trying to hide those feelings? Well, you know you can't. It comes out in subtle ways. Wouldn't it be wonderful if employer and employee, friend and friend, husband and wife, parent and child could trust each other enough to openly express themselves, even if we must tread lightly with others, we can be open and honest with ourselves and what we truly feel. We live in a world that requires that we have that kind of openness, especially to God and to God's good. We can't be closed in and isolated all the time. All the wonders around us are often overlooked when we're closed down like a clamshell. We can't experience those wonders unless we are open to them, unless we can see them. Therefore, we must spiritually open our eyes, our ears, and our hearts within ourselves to others and to see the possibilities in others and to God and to the wonderful world that is everywhere around us. And if we do, we will experience new and more exciting possibilities than we have ever thought possible. They were there before, but we were blind to them. If we're open and receptive to these possibilities, we will detect improved qualities everywhere around us but especially in the people that we know. New opportunities will constantly present themselves because now we can see the good. We will broaden our horizons and live more abundantly. So I ask you today, don't be closed down anymore. So often we think that that is a protection. It does the reverse. It imprisons us. And we're the jailer, but the good news is we hold the keys. God bless you.